What I like about graffiti, it's an art that we did ourselves. It wasn't taught in schools, we picked it up. We, we beg, stole and borrow ideas from the media and um, entertainment and things that were going on around us. And, and we kind of took those and made our art form. Nineteen eighty-six, it was. I'd been sort of messing about, trying to do break dancing and all that kind of rubbish. I wasn't, I wasn't very good at it. I say all that kind of rubbish. It's not rubbish. No, break dancing is very good, but I'm just not very good at it. One thing that I I loved was the graffiti art. You know, where you see these guys do these amazing spins and acrobatics, and, and of course we all try it. But the the main thing was the the background. Straight away, drawn to the visual stuff. One day in class, um, a guy a guy in our class called Al Breeze, he walked in with this book and it was called Spray Can I. The, the cover straight away, I was just like, wow. I, I think with, with art or, or any kind of skill set, just, just practice, practice, practice. A big part is later on in life, when you've repeated something over and over to the point that you are confident, and it's that confidence. I don't, I don't mean like bragging and boasting kind of confidence, but you can just confidently pick up your paint and go to a wall and paint it. Wendy Cooling did these uh, art workshops where she got them to look at memories and things of the past of Colwyn Bay. So they got basically all the information together for me, um, all the ideas. So I collected them together, all the images and the old photographs, and then used those for the basis for the murals on the panels. Pema Mauer, that was an interesting one. I managed to get the panels on under the A55 around where the old skate park was. And uh, we did a workshop there. Uh, myself and Jaff and other graffiti artists have been and painted on those panels there. The reality is, for me, I don't read anything too deep into what I paint. I, I just enjoy working with colours, I love the letter shapes and the styles. I like the craft and the creation process, I love the design process, uh, taking an idea and a concept. For me, as I've grown up, it's, it's more about enjoying it as an, as an art form, as an expression. I still love graffiti letters and colours, I love working with characters. My chosen medium is using the spray can. I get people asking me, can you use a paintbrush? Can you, know, can you draw and sketch? I can do that, yeah, I, I do sketch and draw, but my chosen preferred medium is the spray paint. I'm painting it on a wall. I remember drawing pages of monsters in, um, in a big ledger book that I'd been given to draw, draw and create in. Um, but I had a love of comic books like 2000 AD, um, superheroes, Star Wars, really loved Star Wars, comic book characters and cartoon characters and things that I grew up enjoying. I still have a, a love of those things. I love taking those characters and painting them for scenes. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's it's that nostalgia that a lot of us feel in our as we're growing up in our thirties, forties. We look back to our childhood and the things that the cool things that we grew up with, and that little bit of fuzziness that comes from nostalgia. We want to reclaim it. It's amazing where it's got and where it's gone to these days. You can travel around the 
the world and to different countries and they're painting graffiti and they're putting their name up in graffiti style just like those guys were back in, in the, the 60s and the 70s in New York on, on the walls and subway trains um, where it all started off. I could go back and tell myself any piece of advice, it would be believe in yourself and have a bit of confidence. 